story to tell. Despite being born for a long time, the Slava-class creature of the Russian Navy is still considered an extremely scary monster on the oceans. There are currently three Slava-class creatures in service with the Russian Navy. The Moscow creature is the flagship of the Black Sea Fleet. Varia creature is the flagship of the Pacific Fleet. The remaining creature Marshal Ustinov operated in the North Sea Fleet. Back in the 1960s, at the height of the Cold War, the Soviet Union planned to build the Kirov-class battle cruiser to counterbalance Western aircraft carriers. However, these nuclear-powered battle cruisers have huge operating costs. Therefore, the Slava class was born as a less expensive conventional alternative. The Slava class, otherwise known as the 1164 Atlant project, the Slava class has an overall length of 186.4 meters, a beam of 20.8 meters a draft of 8.4 meters, and the displacement is 12,490 tons. The vessel can accommodate from 476 to 529 crew members, including the small air detachment. The design of Slava class as common as any other worship, an upward sloping bow, Behind the bow is the superstructure, and at the stern is a small helicopter landing deck that served the operation of a Kamov Ka-25 or a Ka-27 Navy helicopter, or a similar. The ship features 16 majestic missile launchers arranged along both sides of the port and starboard sides. The bridge is mounted high on the top of the superstructure for a sweeping view ahead. The main mast contains the main radar and sensors are also located at the forward superstructure. The rear superstructure area contains two smoke funnels and an auxiliary mast. A crane is installed on the ship for handling bows. The cruisers are equipped with a combined guards or gas propulsion system, 4M8KF to turbine gas turbines that provide a total capacity of about 120,000 shot horsepower. This configuration allows for better management of limited fuel stores and more flexibility in travel modes over older engine arrangements. The propulsion system enabled the ship to reach a maximum speed of 32 knots, a range of 2,500 nautical miles at 30 knots, and a maximum of 6,500 nautical miles at a speed of 80 knots. The Slava class is equipped with a range of advanced electronic control systems including the Voskhod MR-800 multifunction 3D long-range search radar in conjunction with the frigate MR-710 3D search radar to cope with aerial threats. In addition, there are top DOM SAN-6 fire control radar, POP group SAN-4 fire control radar, high frequency and ultra high sonar, which can detect and locate the position as well as technical information, tactics of enemy submarines and service ships within a range of several hundred nautical miles. 
electronic warfare and coil, included ram top and side global early warning antennas, two PK2DL 140mm trap. The Russian cruiser is equipped with a powerful weapon system. Featured in this cruiser's weapon system are the 16P500 Barajant long-range supersonic anti-ship missile launchers with a range of 550 km and up to 700 km for the P-1000 improved variant. These missiles are capable of carrying a conventional warhead weighing 1 ton or a 350 kiloton nuclear warhead. At Mark 2.5, this is considered one of the most effective anti-submarine and anti-carrier weapons in the world today. In addition to the anti-ship weapon system, the cruiser is also equipped with a Martin Long Range Surface to Air Missile System. In particular, eight S300F Long Range Air to Air Missile Launchers, anti aircraft combat range is 150 km and 30 km for ballistic missiles. Two OSAMA Surface to Air Missile Systems, one at the front and the other at the rear, have a maximum range of 15 km and a maximum altitude of 12 km. With a comprehensive defense capabilities, the Slava class cruiser is considered the pride of the Russian Navy. In the event of a conflict, the Slava class will be the first Russian warship to enter the war. Once these warships launched fire, the possibility of the enemy being completely destroyed is possible. My video about the Slava class cruiser answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.